Right then, here we are, part three of the 2023 road trip. You'd have seen the first video, hopefully, where I went to a lovely lake in Hertfordshire, had a really nice result on there. Second part of the road trip was on the River Trent and I had some really nice barbell as well. So trip's going well so far. We've decided to just cut the trip a little bit short. We're just going to do one night for this last session and it's literally five o'clock in the afternoon. So time is ticking, the light is already fading. It's been raining, we've been walking round and round trying to find swims. We are at the mighty Bluebell Lakes and we've decided to go on Mallard Lake because we've only got a night. We've not got, you know, days and days to wait for that one big fish. So hopefully we're just going to nick a couple of bites tonight and, you know, it'll be a nice end to the trip. I've got my mate Matt with me as well. He's about three swims to my right there. And yeah, we've got one night to do it. So I've just been having a lead around, found a nice clear spot about 60 yards out. So I'm just going to get the rods out on the spot now, get a little bit of bait over it and get everything properly set up because at the moment I just dumped everything in the bivvy because it was raining and I've not got anything. It's a bit chaos at the moment. So I'm going to get the rods out there nicely, bit of bait out and then have a proper sort out and then hopefully I'll be able to catch up with you before it gets dark and let you know sort of tactics for the session. Right, so I've finally got everything done and it is dark now, so I had to put the lights on and everything so you can see me. It was a uh, really, really horrible rain and I uh, had all the rigs and everything ready, but I had PVA bags on and I couldn't cast them out because it was so, so wet. In the end, what I did was I had some uh, salmon oil and I, I dunked the bags in there, which just protects them from the rain, stops them melting so quickly which enabled me to get the rods out there. So what I actually thought was a good idea was just cast the rods out first without any bait because there may well have been someone fishing here recently and that spot is pretty obvious out there. It's nice clean gravel surrounded by weed about 60 yards. So anyone who would have gone in this swim before me probably would have fished that spot. So rather than put bait out on top of old bait, I just decided to fish bags and uh, I left them out there for a good hour hour and a half just to see if any fish were around and I can pick up a bite before committing to the spot you know um, but nothing happened and the rain stopped in the end and I managed to get my bait out just on dark really before before it was fully dark but dark enough that the coots didn't see where it was going because uh, there's quite a lot of coots on here and they were diving when I got here so I feel like uh, there maybe was a little bit of bait left down there so all I've done is put six small spawns of bait out there. Nothing crazy, I'm only here for a night. I've got little bags on my rigs as well, so it's just enough to kind of hopefully nick a bite if uh, a pack of fish comes through. It's supposed to be well stocked, this lake. Um, so, you know, if a few fish come through, hopefully they'll pick up that bait. So I didn't get a chance to show you my rigs and, um, and my bait mix and everything, so I'll probably do that in the morning, just so you know how I'm fishing. But I am glad to say that everything's done. I've tidied up the bivvy, I've had my dinner and um, it's just time to relax now. Feels like I've been on the go all day today, sort of packing up from the river on the last session and then coming coming here and getting a swim, walking around, you know, and then getting set up. It took all day more or less and uh, it's nice to be finally all sorted and ready for the night ahead. So yeah, let's see what the night brings. Right, good morning. Uh, quiet night for me. I did have a couple of liners this morning, but um, the fish just haven't really been on the feed. It was a really clear, starry night and a cold northwesterly wind blowing. And I did say in the shop when I got here that the fish aren't really on the feed, just trying to nick bites. So I haven't gone crazy with the bait and I've just fished for a bite really. So in a minute, I'm gonna talk you through my tactics, explain how I'm fishing and hopefully throughout the course of today we'll have a fish or two but I um, haven't really seen anyone else catching around the lake either which is sometimes away on these places they can just switch off 
and sometimes switch on and everyone's catching. So tactics wise, um, what I did when I got here, the first thing really was get a two ounce lead on my, on my marker rod and uh, just cast out. And it was weird when I first cast out, you know, sort of 40, 50 yards out, um, went a little bit further and got quite a nice crack down. So dragged that back and actually found a nice gravelly spot out there. So I sort of dragged back until I found where the weeds started and then I'm fishing just about six foot onto that gravel so I'm not right in the middle of it nice and blatant you know I'm kind of just over the weed so my line's all going through the weed and down onto the spot so cast out my three rigs to start with just on little PVA bags just had another line of them you might have heard um, there's been a few birds about and uh, I did actually unfortunately catch a tufty earlier on so yeah it's uh, it's a bit like that you know it's quite shallow out there probably only eight nine foot and uh, the tufties can definitely get down so I did catch one and you know unhooked it and let it go but um, it's just what happened but anyway so I got my three rods out just little bags and I left them for about an hour and a half just to see if there was any fish in the area there might have been some bait out there from the previous guy fishing but that didn't uh, materialise into anything so then I put out six to eight spawns, just small spawns of my bait mix. So what my bait consists of is hemp and sweet corn which is a pretty staple diet of these fish in here and then some amino marine boilies which are crumbed up between my fingers, put a few whole ones in there as well and I put a few liquids, I've got the pure marine extract in there and some salmon oil as well. My thoughts was, you know, a bit of oil, it kind of slicks off and drifts along and hopefully pulls the fish to my spot if they're down the lake somewhere. And that marine liquid uh, just oozes out on the bottom as well, just leaving a bit of a halo and a cloud around the spot. So really nice, attractive mix, not over complicating it. I'm not too much out there because obviously I'm only fishing a short session. I just really want to nick a bite. So. That was my mix and then my rigs were just my normal Amnesia D rigs which you will have seen on my channel before, I've got a dedicated rig tying video for that rig so I won't bother boring you and showing it again but just an Amnesia D rig, barbless hooks because that's the rules on here and then I'm just fishing little, um, little wafters over the top, little SS1 wafters and the bag mix that I put out in my little PVA bags was just a mix of pellets um, very very small size pellets and that's about it really so nothing too complicated I'm fishing about 60 yards just onto the edge of some gravel I feel like I've done everything I can really the lake was absolutely round when I got here there was not really that many free swims so I've just kind of had to go where was available so ideally I would have liked to have walked around and found some fish showing and, and got on them but it just wasn't the option to do that so I've kind of had to go where it was free so you know not the not the best watercraft but I only had a very short amount of time before it was getting dark and also uh, the rain was coming as well so I just needed to get set up but yeah that's uh, where we're at at the moment I'm probably going to leave sort of um, mid-afternoon so yeah probably got got six or seven hours left of the session so let's hope that uh, we can pull one out the bag before we have to go Day's wearing on and it's gone really, really warm now. So last night was freezing cold and uh, northwesterly wind. And then today we've probably got about 20 degrees and it's really hot. So I've actually put a zig out there now, just hoping that if there's a pack of fish cruising through, one of them might investigate it and I might catch a fish. So I'm fishing in about nine foot of water. I've got a, a six foot zig, I think it is. And I'm just sort of, uh, slowly starting to pack down now because my time is running out unfortunately i've only had really less than 24 hours of probably yeah probably about 18 hours or something like that and uh, it's quite tough on a lake like this sometimes you might need to move when a swim becomes free to get on the fish and things like that and i've just not had that option because i haven't had time and it's really busy because it is the weekend down here so yeah i feel like i've done the best i can i've found a nice spot you know put not too much bait out, fish rigs I'm confident in and uh, hook baits that have worked for me before and everything. 
and I have had quite a few liners so I feel like maybe either the fish are moving through a bit closer than where I'm fishing or perhaps the odd one's been feeding on the spot but not enough to get a pickup unfortunately but I am going to wait till the last minute and see what happens but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this road trip little mini series make sure you go check out the other two parts the uh, one on the lake in Hertfordshire and then the River Trent barbel fishing as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of content coming to you before the end of the year. Leave a comment below if you've fished uh, this lake before, Mallard at Bluebell, let me know any any advice and things that work for you because uh, I've not fished it before and obviously I haven't caught in this session unfortunately but yeah that's all that's left to say so thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.